it's a cold trap. And in a cold trap, it is hundreds of degrees below zero and it never gets warmer than that. The water molecules are there to stay forever, for billions of years. So we have billions of years accumulation of water at the basin of polar craters. You actually have to mine the water molecules out of the surface of the moon to obtain this. So you need a, a mechanism to do that. But we have very good evidence that there is indeed water there fulfilling the expectations for it being a coal trap and the moon getting hit by comets over its multi-billion year lifespan. All right, so you have the water to drink. Water is H2O. If you have another machine that can split the water molecule, into hydrogen and oxygen, that's rocket fuel. It's one variety of rocket fuel. If you have an, a hydrogen tank and an oxygen tank, and then you merge them, the hydrogen joins with the oxygen to make the water molecule and is highly exothermic. Energy is released. So you can go to the moon, we sent the supplies up front, take the water out of the crater basins, drink some of it, make rocket fuel out of the rest, and now you have rocket fuel to come back to the Earth. In NASA, they call this ISRU, in situ resource utilization. 